everybody. Dr. Brian Scott with you. Insight to the end times. Praise the Lord here. We're looking at verses in the Bible and at current events that show us where we are in God's timetable. And suffice it to say, we're really close to the end. I want to get right into our we are studying right now. We've asked the question yesterday, how did this happen? How did we get to a place where we've got the reprobate mind? We have 23 different levels of evil occurring in the land. Where in the last days, we've got seducing spirits, doctrines of demons, deceiving spirits, and so on and so forth. It's all part and parcel of the last days. And these last days lead up to the rapture of the church. That's really good born again believers. You gotta be born again. You gotta be watching, walking with Jesus. Praise the Lord. It's easy to get born again. Just a simple prayer starts you on your journey with the Lord Jesus Christ. You ask him to forgive you of your sins. You repent of your sins. You acknowledge him as Lord and Savior. You acknowledge that he's been raised from the dead, that he's seated at the right hand of God the Father, and that he will be your Savior, your Lord, and your Master. And then you get in involved in church. You find a good church. You get into your Bible. You start studying. You start reading. You start praying. You live Christian values, and you live the Christian life. Not a good life. The God life, the Christian life. You want to be ready for the rapture of the church. It precedes seven years of tribulation. That is going to be hell on earth like you've never ever imagined. If you think what you're seeing in the newspapers in terms of flooding and fires and things like this is horrendous, well, pardon the expression, but you ain't seen nothing yet. Amen. Praise the Lord. How did all of this happen? We were talking the other day. We are speaking yesterday about John chapter 10, verse 10, where Jesus says the devil has come to steal, to kill, and destroy. And that's his objective. That's his plan. That's his strategy. He's very good at it. Now, you may think that um, you're, not, uh, you're not being attacked by the devil, but yes, you are. You really, you need to understand this. Our nation's being attacked. Our leadership's being attacked. The decisions they make are being attacked. We are seeing all kinds of stuff happening that removes our freedoms, hinders us, and so on and so forth. Uh, our economy is under attack. Uh, everywhere you look, we're under attack. So in your own personal life, you have events, you have circumstances, you have coincidences that are occurring. You take them as natural, you ex absorb them, you adjust because of them to go in a new direction. You're allowing these things to bring you to a standstill. You had dreams, you had a desire, you had visions, you had goals, you wanted to do certain things in life, you wanted to be certain things in life. It never came to pass in most instances as a result of what? An attack. He has agreed to come against you subtly very, very uh, scheming-like. He's been planning for a long time. His attack is unrelenting. Just look at the change in our social climate and our moral climate over the last 50 years. Now, I grew up when television was still black and white before it became color. I remember we got our first color TV when I was a teenager. It was exciting to see things in color. And I remember watching shows where the characters, I, I'm thinking of the Mary, uh, the uh, Dick Van Dyke show. I like Dick Van Dyke. And he and Mary Tyler Moore, they were a married couple and they slept in a bedroom with two single beds and they were six feet apart. I'm sure that's where that came from. And uh, they were fully clothed when they went to bed from neck to toe to ankle. And that was the way it was. That's the way we all went to bed. That's how everything was. Morals were very clean and very tight. Things started to deteriorate. And uh, then movies came out where people weren't fully clothed. And we started to uh, hear about sex scenes and all kinds of sexual immorality. And now, folks, there's no limit on anything. You know that as well as I do. It's an all-out attack. So how did this uh, come to pass? It's a constant, unrelenting barrage or bombardment of wrongs that are being foisted upon us and that we are uh, putting up with. They come from every kind of source there is. Uh, TV news, they come from your internet, uh, uh, your laptops, your cell phones. You're being 
uh, pounded with it all the time. If you, if you hear a lie enough times, it becomes truth. It becomes truth. We've gone through a whole lot of things that uh, we weren't sure whether they were truth or lies over the last three years. And uh, now it seems that there's a lot of information coming out, uh, extremely uh, well-documented research that would refute a lot of things that we were told in the past. But now we're not even paying attention to that because someone has put a term on them that it's a, a conspiracy or a theory. And so we threw it out. So we have redefined that term. All oh, folks, it's happening absolutely everywhere. The devil's plan is to steal, kill, and destroy, and he's done everything he possibly can to distort your thinking and your ability to think and to, to uh, know who to listen to. And so your, men, your mental thoughts have been just totally barraged. And let me ask you a question. Do you go to church? And if you do, do you have real good uh, Bible training or is it a, a socialized uh, type of setting? I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I'm just asking you, where do you get your truth from? Or do you get truth? Or do you make up your own truth? There's only one source of truth. It's the Word of God. And the Word of God points the pictures very clearly in these previous podcasts and from these verses. You would do yourself well to go back and listen to the last two or three months of our uh, sharing because we really have been hitting a lot of these very, very, relevant verses to show us where we are in God's timetable. And we're getting very, very close. And you don't want to go through the tribulation. I can assure you of that. Absolutely assure you. That's the gospel truth. You do not want to. I'll see you tomorrow. We're getting close to wrapping up this week. Bye for now.